Hi, and welcome to the third tutorial on hail tracking in Weather Defender. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can forecast where severe hail will strike. Obviously useful for those of you who need to prepare in advance for severe weather. Also those of you who need to respond to hail damage uh, in certain areas, this will be an incredibly useful function for you. So starting out here, I have the default summer weather map, and I've turned off all of the layers just to keep things simple. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the forecast map by going to add layer on the map toolbar. This brings up the layer browser, which if you've been following these tutorials by now, you uh, have a basic understanding of how you can customize your map with this browser. Then we're going to go into the forecast category. And this will bring up a list of layers that are uh, designed to help you predict and forecast severe weather. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom under the Convective Outlooks browser. So what we're going to do is we're going to just select a day one, which is effectively the next 24 hours. And then we're going to select Probabilistics and Hail under the drop-down list. Leave everything else the same. Click Add to Map. And then we're going to close out the browser. As you can see, it's added a new layer over to our Map Layers window. And then when it's done downloading, you'll see some new lines on your map. Uh, in this case, the yellow line is an indication of a 5% chance of severe hail. The magenta or purple line is 15% chance, and the, the blue line is a 30% chance of severe hail. If you mouse over the icons just below the labels, you'll see 30% probability of 3 quarter inch hail, which is damaging hail, or larger, within 25 miles of a point. So anywhere inside the blue line here, we'll zoom in to get a better look, is going to be your best chance in the next 24 hours of seeing severe, that is damaging hail. Uh, now, this is today's report. Let's see how is this actually working out. Well, I'll turn on a couple of the other weather tracking layers and we can see for ourselves. You can see all of these green indicators are in fact hail damage reports. All of these green ones right here. So three quarter inch, one uh, 1.75 inch, all of these. And if you click on some of these, you'll see the details of the hail report. Uh, Aurora Fire Department reported golf ball size hail, obviously very damaging there. Ground about 25% covered with hail. So that's very serious. We could drill right down in there and find out the actual towns that were going to be affected by some of this stuff. So as you can see, obviously this forecast was right on today and uh, the storms are still ongoing in fact and will probably continue through the night in the vicinity of this 30% hail hatch. Um, now let's take a look at uh, the predicted hail forecast for tomorrow and the day after that. I'm going to go back into the layer browser, just like I did before, go into the forecast category, Go down to the Convective Outlooks browser, select Probabilistics and Hail, but this time I'm going to say Day 2. And this will give me tomorrow's forecasted hail probabilities. So here we go. We can see again it's, this whole system is expected to move off to the east. We have a 30% hail again tomorrow covering uh, much of the Mississippi Valley. Um, and that's going to be the area of focus for the next 24 to 48 hours. So that is how you can forecast areas of severe hail potential in Weather Defender. And as I mentioned, you can do this uh, for the current day, you can do it for tomorrow, and you can do it for 72 hours out. So it's a great tool to utilize along with the real-time hail reports and storm attributes and some of the other tracking layers that are already built into Weather Defender to help you prepare and respond to severe threats. Thanks for watching.